Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Operation Arc Inferno. Uh, this is phase one of countering Show of Force. Uh, I would like to get to the Black Sight mission sooner rather than later. But we kind of need to have people at a... We, we need to have like a really successful mission. So that... Uh, so that we can do like back-to-backs with a couple folks so it looks like these guys have their bond that we just made at level two is that possible that they've like that you could over bond to the point where you have a a level two right away that's kind of cool i don't know if i've seen that before but i just noticed it now ping point bumblebee odin pale rider alien and six let's go advent monument gate crasher basically Today's trivia question. As of the end of episode 20, which fallen soldier this season killed the most enemies on the mission where they died? A. Micra Silencer Lumos. B. Sin Zenith Doriel. C. Rhiannon Tabula Rasa. Or D. Nina Sovereign Verducci. The answers may surprise you. Today's log is written by McCrook, who's writing for Emika Red Dawn Mikami, our combat engineer, says this. Well, I'm a mess. Fresh out of the infirmary, I learned there's an exalt mission being readied. For reasons of his own, the commander has not put me on the squad. Is he trying to save me the pain of confronting Hanoka on the battlefield, or does he not trust me to do my duty? Perhaps he fears I have exalt allegiances. I can't bear to think what will happen if Honoka is there and she's killed. How will I face the one who pulled the trigger? I have to talk to the commander. I have to go. Even if it's to bring her body back for burial. Oh no, is the Sky Ranger lifting off? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm interested to follow that story through. Keep up the good writing there, McGrook. Okay, I wouldn't define this as our strongest squad, but I, I, I think it's versatile enough. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. I think it's versatile enough. Allez, allez, allez. Allez, allez, allez. and a hunter. That is a really nice group to see after what we have been seeing. Let's uh let's bring Odin up. Build those shadow stacks. Solid copy. Pale Rider in. Alien go. And six. Uh, let's take this side. I don't believe we have a timer on this mission. Not moving at all, hey? Look at that strategy. You know, I wonder if we don't just do good old-fashioned Overwatch trap here. You know? Turn on, turn on our ambush here. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll start with his pistol shot. We'll open up with that. We'll overwatch the rest. Uh, maybe Pale Rider will save as well. But these guys will overwatch with. Covering now. Overwatch. Covering now. Pink point. Maybe I want to shadow fall something. Let's do this. He's got that quick draw now. Oh, and he missed it. That's great. So apparently we can fix this by clicking on his vector rifle shot and it'll go away. Holy smokes. Man, those are some big percentages. Okay. Okay. So now if I go into here and back out, that <laughs> sort of clears it. Sort of clears it. What the hell? That is such a weird mod. 
Ah, damn. Okay. Well, this is no doubt going to trigger something, isn't it? Yep. But. I gotta do it. Oh. That is. Not cool. His, uh. His damage isn't that big, but I think he's gonna have other stuff that's gonna cause some problems. Yikes. I think I actually will shadow fall this. Seems doable. Oh boy. Well, I am on watch. This is going to be fun. Damper field. Eviscerate. Okay, this is going to hurt. Whoa. And ruptured, which means this sectoid. Okay, this is fine. Holy frick. Um, Whoa. Okay, then. okay, what do you do? Okay. Surrounds all allies with a damper field for a limited time. <laughs> okay, thanks, but what does damper field do? Reduces incoming damage. Melee, fire, acid, poison, psionic attacks penetrate the damper field. He also has retaliate. If the muton destroyer dodges a melee attack, it will strike back with eviscerate. So a devastating melee attack that ruptures. Concussion grenades. He's immune to stuns and explosions. He'd have to dodge the attack. Extremely strong-willed, have smashed their heads through many walls. Poor manners, preferring the wall to the door. Clumsy, stumbling across the battlefield, Muton Destroyer sometimes loses its footing in the destruction it creates. Oh, this is really neat. This is really neat. Uh, we have to kill these enemies on this turn. Because otherwise, Pale Rider's in trouble. I have to be careful not to blow up that car. So I'm thinking of trying to get here. I'll I'll consider moving Odin, I think. Look at that disorientation. That's really cool. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of that. That's super annoying. Okay, maybe I won't be able to move Odin, because I do want to get two shots here. Am I getting rid of any of this armor is the question? Maybe. Ooh. Okay. Good to go. That rupture, that's scary. Gotta get him healed ASAP here. Okay, no, they only have level one bond. For some reason I thought it was level two, but probably just looking at it wrong. I think this is worth considering, just based on the scenario we're in. Get rid of that armor. Oh, he... Oh! Oh! 
Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Immune to explosions. That means I can't shred his armor with grenades either. He still took the acid part, which is good. Wow. I got That was huge, actually. Okay, so the idea here now is... See if we get really lucky with high damage. Oh, we did. Nice. Damper field faded. Okay, so it removes it from him, too. Like that. I think I might just end up removing this Reaper HUD if it if it's got too many issues like this. Oh, I I thought we had the range there. Uh, that was a poor assumption, I guess. Okay, I'll go. Got him covered. Press there. I'll move over to this position. That was a cool muton. I really hope this thing just runs. That'll do. I can handle that. All right. I don't know how long that rupture is going to last. Nice. That's a, such a nice heal. Forty-eight through full. I'm going. We've got advent here. Holy smokes! Okay, <laughs> that's touchy, but fine. Stunlancer could be problematic, for sure. He's most likely to run at one of these guys. The Advent Hunter. Let's see what happens. See what we hit, if anything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why I would expect it to be any different, honestly. So I think shield charge here, activating shield wall to try and kill this sectoid is decent. We can probably tank some shots. And then we got the hunter. Let's get Pale Rider out for a sec. Uh, who am I most worried about? The Hunter's is 3 to 4 damage, so I'm not super concerned there. Oh, I'm on it. His attachments look kind of wonky on that happen. pistol. Nice shot. Okay. This might trigger some overwatch. Oh, no, it won't. But that's fine. We have armor, energy, or shields. All of the tanking.
Now, is it better for me to take two pistol shots or reload and take another one? I think two pistols here is fine. This, <laughs> this freaking HUD is just ridiculous. All right. He's disoriented, but he still has health. Uh, Pale Rider could fix that. Possibly. A little aggressive, honestly. If you say so. Let's see how we clean up these other guys if we do. Oh my god. Come on. I know. Come on. It's right. Oh, yeah. Purifier's pretty far back. So far, we haven't seen them use any of their fire grenades, so I'm not going to bet on them doing it now. Seventy-seven. Come on. Check it before you get too close. Okay. So now, I feel like this is probably okay. No problem, boss. You know that was good. Is this a job for you? Okay. So there's a group back here that he's running to. That gives us a little bit of breathing room. Get some reloads Ready in. To Ready to rock. Let's rock. Charger et barré. Back online. My GV. Okay, one round of Overwatch is here. I won't let them best. I'm going. Oh See if there's any other new enemy surprises. So far, so good. Ten four. I can cover it. On the move. Should I? I should actually check to see if that is something that gets removed here. Okay. Ends in one player turn. It lasts a long time. Is it clear? Solid copy. Moving overwatch. Huh? And it all goes quiet. Until it doesn't. try that's five now so that group got an extra one wait one two yeah that group got an extra one plus the purifier that ran to them no wait that's a whole different group that's not the purifier's not even there holy shit sticks what is that oh my god sorry for swearing but Jeez. Oh no. Frick! What is that? Holy... Whoa. That got out of hand real quick. What? He still has this. Oh, I guess he always will have this. It doesn't go away. That was something else. Okay, being disoriented here is really great for my 
everything. This is pretty bad, I'd say. Um, there is the hunter there that will see her. Looks like this would be safe. Trying to disorient this abductor could be okay for us. The problem here is I, I still don't like... I don't like Pink Point being the target at all. We could maybe shield wall. I'm actually thinking we put Pink Point right here. Just get out of vision completely. So what's funny is, where did that purifier run to? That's my question. I go where you tell me. Oh, hello, nice find. Fifty to crit. Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow! Uh, okay, why do I get to move again? Oh, this, reposition. <laughs> yeah, cool. Pale Rider, that rupture is very scary. I, it is tempting to go here. And, uh... Try and kill off this abductor. I just don't know that I'd be able to get this far away afterwards. And with the high aim of these guys, that makes me a little concerned. I do think I need to bring Alien up. These shots aren't going to do anything. I'm going to put you in full. You might have to tank a bit. I should check. Does that advanced trooper have... He does have a frag grenade. Oh, that could be interesting. Because if I come here, we likely just get fragged. Let's do this. So I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring Wolf over to full here. Uh, we'll grant him... The extra action, and I'll look at maybe suppressing. We can suppress these two. I think that's valid. Copy that. Suppressing target. These shots are not great, but not bad. Fair enough. Negative damage. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna hunker him down. And since we're concealed here, I think I'm fine with that. Okay, the HUD thing's gone. That's good. Nice. Right in the sectoids. Of course, he has one health left. That all you got? Make it fire over here. Ooh, ballsy. Mm. 
Look at that guy. I've never seen this portrait before. With the quadruple chin. Nice! Six is actually starting to look pretty nasty with that cannon. Really, really good. Okay, disorientation removed. So, uh, we want to go for that sectoid for sure. I think we can reach with Pale Rider. Yeah. I still need to get two damage in there. Uh I'm trusting you here. Let's do this. Let's heal up, get up pink get point. That makes her quite a bit more survivable. Um yeah. Do I have a shotgun? I do, but I might need that for here. What do you see? 68 is not bad. 60? Worth a go. Oh, the dodge. We still have the full cover from that side, so I'm okay with it. If I do a free reload here, then I can shoot and suppress. I don't really want to move in here, leave myself exposed, going for a grenade on this side. We're green to go. Surely that purifier that ran off to find that other group is coming in soon. God. Negative damage. Sucks. Pressing fire on target. I suppose this is an option. Yeah, I wonder if I came in right next to this sectoid and blasted down there if I would have the range. I think I would. Oh wait, that's zone suppression. I think I might. Leaves me exposed here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna start with this. I'm trying to save the prep for entry, but maybe I don't even maybe I shouldn't. Maybe this is the safer play. I think I'm gonna just go for the kill. Here. Oh, he's got loot. I should have maybe not done that, but whatever. Wow, you made that look better than I anticipated. Thank you for that. Whatever you say. All right, that changes things a bit. Uh, maybe rushing out there now is not the right call. Ready to go. Enemy Let's down. suppress there. Oh, lovely. I love all the dark events, but I love the dark events. Give me more dark events. I want dark events that impact my dark events. 
Oh boy. Hello. What the frick? Found him. We found him. Officer Scion. Double purifiers. Nice shots, man. Six is on. Six is on. This rupture, though, that's that's very nerve-wracking. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, hold on. We're, like, stuck. This happens, I guess. I'll do this. This should fix it. There we go. Okay. I wasted a shot a bit there, but that's fine. Bro, frag grenade. Don't like that. I'm actually kind of happy I've stayed back here now. So one option is to go in and, and shield charge this to set up the shield wall. But this guy comes and swipes and then all of a sudden we have no cover and we've seen that we've seen that story before. I'm gonna make these guys come to me. Hail Rider, you can take this little hidden position. I love that. It's really cool that we found that spot. Reloaded. Yeah, you reloaded. These chances are so crap. Uh, what's your shot at? Anything. Let's put this to 33% minimum. It is the officer moving. Damn. Too bad. Who's marked there? What? He sees that? I thought that was totally out of vision. I think the two pure like the two purifiers don't have to worry about so much, but here comes some guaranteed damage. Oh, I hate these things. Especially because we have somebody ruptured. Oh, he steals HP too? I didn't even know that. That's superb. That is superb. Oh god, no. How does that work with the blast padding? Or with the uh, rupture, I mean. He only took the three, so I guess... Oh, maybe the rupture's gone. No, rupture is definitely there. <sighs> okay, it's freaking time. No more messing around. I might need this here, so I'm going to place it. This does leave me flanked by this trooper, but I'm going to go all in on him. Let's 
let's actually do this. I don't care so much about this thing, but... This just gives us... Oh, it didn't even destroy the wall. Oh, what the... Okay. Oh, yeah, it did. Thank God. Okay, now the question is... We lightning hands here. I know this thing will regenerate, so we do have to take that into account. I'm gonna take this side because I might need to put... Pale Rider over here. Oh, that shifted him pretty heavily. God damn. Okay. So now... Need eight there. He's stunned and disoriented, but... Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's fine. So, so close. He is stunned for one, too. That said... This gives me a visual, puts me in half cover. I do want to move Odin. How far can these guys get? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, see, they could come right down here and flame me. I wonder, too, from here if they'd be able to hit. Possible. Since this guy... Okay, he's disoriented. He's going to be down in action. He can't move and flank Pale Rider. I'm going to take the safer position here with Odin. The disorientation, nice. Ooh, six! Holy frick! Nice job. Ooh, what is that noise I'm hearing? Why do I hear like snakes? Jesus. Okay, so he's not stunned. That's fine. That's fine. Whew! Sick. Purifier way in the back there. Nice job. I would love for an assault infantry to not be dead immediately, all the time. You're gonna be fine. Gonna heal here. I guess that'll be a 
okay? We're gonna heal here. You're gonna be fine. I was fully expecting that we would see like a a um, like a ruler if we didn't see the chosen. But so far, we haven't seen it, so that's good. Uh, fire won't matter, but let's just do this. And we'll overwatch with Mr. Never Miss. Oh, where'd you go? Oh! <laughs> he actually doesn't miss. Holy smokes. I forgot that guy was risen. This is a bit trickier than it looks. Actually, you know what? I really hope this is the last guy. I'm trusting you here. Folks says I am to obey. I can handle that. Move it to fire position. Let's see if you have enough. Oh! Yes, you do. Impress yet? That was very nice. Affirmative, covering now. What's over there? What's over there? Still sure? Oh, frick, I do hear snakes. Oh, it is here. Holy frick. Holy frick. Oh my god, is that ever bad news, bears? I did hear snakes! <laughs> wow, dude. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I wonder... I wonder if this is a... Faceless, that's what I wonder. Damn! Okay, that's really bad. We might be able to just leave here. It's only Odin that spotted them, actually. We don't have to kill all enemies. On the move. I'm going to stay as far away from them as possible here. Just no cover. I want you to run this way, if you don't mind. Watch my back. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Do we just extract? Yeah, I, th I think this is the right call. We're a little bit weak. We've used up a lot of our stuff. Okay, I'll go. We've taken a few more service. hits than I would have liked. No problem, boss. What's over there? 
See ya. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating. <laughs> That's the timing of that. We heard the snakes, of course, and then I probably jinxed it by saying, oh, well, I thought for sure we'd see, like, a ruler here. <laughs> Love it. Okay, Wi-Fi on pink point. Bumblebee, two for five with some healing. Uh, Odin, nine for 14, not bad. Hail Rider with the MVP. Yeah, I was going to be him or six. Alien, nice job. Four for five, 35. Eight for 12. Oh, he's actually missed more than I thought, but in that sequence, he was hitting everything. So, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. 61% shots. That's low. That's low. There was that kind of weird position that we were in there where we couldn't really cross that showroom floor. Okay, so some wounds, <laughs> unsurprising. But no one's dead. Roust, Demolition. I'm gonna stick with Roust. I know I'm building these guys all the same, but the, all of these abilities we've seen before, so. Okay, Lightning Reflexes. First reaction shot would miss. Battering Ram, gain an armor and an additional armor when Running Gun is activated. Plus 10 to dodge. Once per turn, you can parry a melee attack and counterattack with your own melee weapon if equipped. It's like really good for stun lancers only. Maybe certain mechs. I like this. That extra defense to, to break uh, overwatches. The first one doesn't doesn't hit us. Pretty nice. Mind you, having a, some armor is pretty good too. Having some armor is pretty good. It'd be much better if I had deep reserves, but let's take lightning reflexes. Okay, so that's part one of that nightmare. New spark in two days. God, that would be sweet. Bladed armor in 12. I need alloys, man. I need a I need a supply run or I need um, a new month and I can spend some intel, I guess. Um, Black Sight's going to have to wait until more people are not dead. Setting course Try and get this relay up so that we can get our first continent bonus. <laughs> I need to build the resistance contacts on this machinery thing. Rick. There it is. Exalt. And yeah, this is the first one. This is, yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, it's three days, so at least I can finish this spark, which I will most likely be taking there. Sick. Okay. Um, so plasma grenade was pushed back because of the spark build. So we'll just let this roll. And let's meet our new spark. Averos Buzzkill Baptiste. <laughs> oh, yes. That is sick. Okay. Averos Buzzkill Baptiste. Buzzkill is not autonomous unit, but is piloted remotely by Iveros. Iveros. I think I'm saying that right. Lily is concerned that control of Buzzkill could be seized by Advent if they were to discover the frequencies used to control him. Iveros insists Buzzkill is male, but her objections have been somewhat mollified upon reviewing the operator's frequency hopping software with multiple false outputs to further confuse the enemy scanners. I understand some of those words. Iveros has consented to the addition of an expert system meant to operate the unit autonomously in case Iveros' signals are jammed. 
Although performance under such circumstances would be seriously degraded, they have attempted to install a standard combat autonomy software package, but every time it's run, Buzzkill refuses to follow instructions until Everos resumes control. This is a neat take. This has confounded Lily to no end, but Everos insists Buzzkill's IOA... Inter uh... IOA? What is IOA? Hmm. Insists Buzzkill's IOA and her own are coupled and cannot be separated. Of course, Lily dismisses this as superstitious nonsense that has no place in her in engineering department and suspects that Everos uh, has somehow managed all her attempts to improve Budkill, or sabotaged all her attempts to improve Budkill. Buzzkill? Jeez. But so far has found nothing to explain how she's done so. For now, Buzzkill will take the field only under Everos' control, for better or worse. Sick. That is exceptional. And guess what you're going to be? You're going to be an artillery class. Yep. There is the infiltrator thing. Yeah, sure. But, um, no. We need to rebuild the artillery. The artillery sparks, definitely. Um... This is a new thing now, with the changes in the mods that I talked about last episode. Uh, you have to come in here and just equip this stuff, and then it'll all get added. So here's the heavy cannon. So now maybe it's worth upgrading. Oh, yeah, okay. So it looks like these are those HE heat shells and shrapnel shells that we talked about. Let me just remove you. High explosive shells fly in an arch trajectory and deal moderate blast damage to targets around the impact. Can be equipped only alongside the heavy cannon. Special shells are carried in the auxiliary slot, but they benefit from special ammo. Uh, high ex uh, heat shells, high explosive anti-tank, use a shaped explosive charge to generate enormous pressure to literally push through armor. Uh, heat shells are highly effective against armored targets, and the explosion deals minor damage to adjacent targets. Heat shells deal the same damage regardless of distance, however, they fly much slower. So the likelihood of scoring hits on enemy weak points is reduced as the distance to the target grows unless sabo rounds are equipped. Okay. Special shells are carried in the ox slot and they benefit from special ammo. Shrapnel fire barrage of shrapnel that deals moderate damage to targets in a cone. Shrapnels blocked by cover can only be equipped alongside heavy cannon. Okay, so we have shrapnel, we have heat for armor, and we have high explosives for explosives. Fair enough. Now, one of the things to look at, oh, first of all, um, Setup, range, and accuracy. Pretty good there. Reduce that squad squad sight penalty. Okay. So now... Just give the word and I'll get started. In here, the item that we were looking at building previously... Munitions mount. Oh. This not only grants the ammo slot, but includes each of those other shells... I think that's worth. Okay. Dynamite's back. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely worth doing. So in the ox slot, we would then put... Wait, what? There it is. Okay. So presumably we'll get each of those, and then uh, we could t we could put sub-O rounds on too, which makes it even better. Okay, so how many people do we have available? We have 11. I don't think I want to delay this too much because we're going to have to counter... We have, we're going to have two more situations to counter still. Which is, again, same situation as last month. Frickin' nightmare. Plus, we're gonna have a retaliation. Yeah. So we're gonna be relying on our sparks pretty heavily here.
Now, interestingly, we have the choice to either put Sabo rounds on Pool Mother or just use this ammo slot, which we now have, right? Thing is, if we put it on her, we could even give her a, like a, an ammo slot herself and do that. Okay, let's wait here. Hold on. He's only at four health. We could heal that up. I suppose. Uh, let me look at this shield here, like we were talking. Yeah, it even says in here, like, disorient the target. It doesn't say that the stun is the priority. Oh, there it says it, at the very bottom. Okay, so let me see this. Ten shield points. Melee attacks stun enemies. Yeah. Shields are upgraded alongside spark armor. Carrying a shield encumbers unit. Minus one mobility. Zero aim penalties. Okay. Okay. This is exalt. So flashbangs. Be nice. I think dynamite, we could still build some will there. Long Lance can bring a Marine as well. Do I not have a flashbang anymore? Or maybe I've, maybe I, do I have that? I don't think we have any infiltrations going, do we? We have covert actions. Uh, those are the two rookies. I wonder if Schmidt has this. Maybe we have it on Schmidt because of the ambush? I can't, I don't recall. Either way. Yeah, we have one somewhere. And I definitely want to take one. So you can take a K-15. You've got the Long Lance. Exalt Mag. That's one thing that's been nice. Escort resistance operative here. Take this one. The thing I like about that is that we can give it to more people. Um, yeah. And this thing is still really good without it. But, yeah, I think if I had extra ammo, I would obviously use it. Okay. What are you going to put in your ox weapon here? Blast canister. So the blast canister, what's nice is we get the extra uses. Right? It's compared to the rocket. Very curious to see how this munitions mount is going to go. Um, yeah. 
long lance build. What are we going to do? How do we have you built out? High approach? So you're not shooting after moving anyways. So let's give you this. Actually, and dashing reloading could be kind of cool for you. I'll give you the Shadow Keeper here. Mag Shorty there. Oh yeah, this increases the canister sizes. Let's do that. That's fine. A15 nearby reaction, ammo, close range crit, cool mother with a vest and a med kit, med kit here as well, probably a vest, let's do a vest here, I'm carrying this just for the odd situation we may want to try it in. Now the only question is, do I need more grenades? <laughs> I'm actually going to take a smoke grenade here. Or the uh, Portrell. What territory is this in? This is Warlock territory. So Warlock is explosives. Yeah. Warlock is explosives. So maybe instead of this... We'll go frags. Because if we can expose the Warlock and then just hammer him down with a couple of these things... I mean, we actually... Funny enough, the Frost Bomb has not been a major component this season. It really hasn't. I can think of, like, one time where we froze more than one person. I wonder... If I should be taking straight damage here. It depends if we can find a group to open on. That's the thing, right? That's the important part. And remember, we don't have the same... We don't have all the skills that we had before with the plus two damage, the heat grenades, the flashbangs dealing damage, carrying extra flashbangs. Like, I got one, and I'm basically using this to hit Exalt after they arrive. So, yeah, that's a, that's a concern. I don't like seeing anybody below 8, really, so removing these vests is sort of out of the question, in my opinion. We're at really low mobility here. Minus 2. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if we are able to just, like, decimate a group at a time, then maybe that's okay. I don't think reposition will work on our sparks. Can't imagine that it would. Maybe the munitions mounts will blow down some cover, too. So we do have that. Maybe maybe we keep this. All right. Cool Mother, Buzzkill, Angerbot, Toaster, Galanin, and Serenity. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you in the next one.